Welcome. If you like this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. It helps spread the word and helps make more of these videos possible. Ooh, this is Gary like again, and I have another video for you today. Today, I'll be doing a review of this. But before we get started, I do want to talk about my sort of long app last Sunday. So her birthday was Sunday the 5th. She said the previous Sunday that she wanted to go to a play and she wanted to go see Harry Potter. So we went to see Harry Potter and the Cursed Child yesterday. So that was an all day event and um the day that she said she wanted to go see that was the day that we got back from another activity that she told me very last minute she wanted to do was we went on a cruise which is my first cruise ever we took a norwegian cruise from new york all the way over to the bahamas and i did a little bit of sketching i did actually watercolor sketching as well um, i tried to do some flowers here some uh clouds here this is my second attempt and this is from my um looking out at my room into the pier but i sort of simplified all the stuff that was going out in the in the pier um but anyway but th that's where i've been and it's just been super crazy um and just path. i'll try to record when i can um i'm going to london and paris this summer so that's taking a lot of planning and that sort of thing um we still don't have a hotel for paris and we're supposed to be there whatever we know <laughs> so there's a lot of planning to be done in addition to that um if you guys have been following me for a while you guys know that i started this channel spinning and doing fiber arts um and i just got back into weaving and in fact i recorded an unboxing for when i got the loom but i haven't uploaded it yet or finished it um so this is a a little hand towel that I made. Anyway, so anyway, that's where I've been and that's what's been going on. But I got this before we left for the cruise. Did it arrive? No, it arrived while we were gone. And um, I've had it in the house for a, a few days at least. Um, and I really, really wanted to talk about this. These are so cute. These are the Fiber Castell limited edition celebrating their 100th and 11th anniversary. So it's limited edition. 2019 celebrating 111 years of the polychromos pencils made in pen colored pencils and tin made in germany this is sort of a um sort of a reissue of what their original pencils looked like and in the back um you sort of see the colors that are included are similar to and i haven't had a chance to compare them to the actual colors that are in the line now but um at least some of these colors are not the the color names don't match to what's available now so for example there's a hooker's green 2 and there isn't a hooker's green 2 in the current line so i don't know if these are actual um colors but i want to show you this this is so adorable look at this this comes in a tin case um i believe these were like 17 18 dollars and um you can see it comes with this giant um poster so this is what the tin that i have here recreates the um set of 12 from 1908 which is 111 years ago and um and then this is sort of the the little um booklet that it comes the back is the same thing in another language but this it also comes with hold on oh no the back is a little bit different it also comes with which i think is a little bit silly slash cute this is the the 111 uh their old drawing and then in 111 years if you're managed to still be alive in 111 years you can do um you can redo a drawing to go with 111 years if you're still around then you know should that happen to you um anyway so there's that let me close this up um this cute little thing if you want to get these tins um and then it includes this card which tells you the colors uh no that's not english this is the english side so opaque white the current white in the line is very much a transparent white so that's interesting like cadmium yellow is in the current line um i can't remember if there's a color called orange i believe there's may green there's definitely no hooker's green two there's an indigo there's a uh, carmine ish i don't think it's called carmine extra fine there's definitely a light bluish type color light cinnabar there's definitely not a light cinnabar um 
English red. Uh, I can't remember if there's an English red. I know there's an Indian red, which I like a lot, and uh, sepia. Um, and I think that's a slightly different color. And Van Dyke Brown. I think there's a Van Dyke Brown. I can't remember off the top of my head. But anyway, so these are the, this is the original card that came, I guess, with the original set of 12. And the back, it's in German. So that's what you get there. You'll also get the very cute pencils. Let me try to pick a good color. Oh, let me show you this too. Because I don't think that this shows. Look, this is the current line of polychromos this is pompeian red and this is what it looks like when you get the polychromos and i don't know if you can see but it hasn't been sharpened yet size difference between the two this is called the three quarter size um which ships unsharpened so once you sharpen it it'll be a little bit smaller and what I'm going to do is I'm going to sharpen these and take a look at them and see how they write. So we're going to pause. I'm going to come back after these have been sharpened. Um, actually, I'll sharpen them on camera a little bit. All right, I am back. I sharpened all the pencils. In addition to sharpening them, I went through the trouble. I don't know if you can see, I might just, there you go. I went through the trouble of getting my, uh, the regular polychromos from the 120 set and uh, getting those out. And I just put everything down. Um, these are right here. I don't know if you can see, but the white that comes in the 120 set the regular white is very transparent white. So I'm looking forward to comparing it. And um, some of the colors, for a lot of the colors, there was a, a match, like a similar, a similar hue, but the name was different. So I've marked out with a zero, I've marked out that it's the same name. And with an X, I marked out that the name is not the same, but the hue appears to match. So we're, we're going to test that out. Similar soon. color. You can see that the, um, the modern polychrome mostly give you all this information, Fiber Castell, the logo is different. And in the back, they have the color name, but for the, uh, for the reissue limited edition pencils, all you get is a W Faber and Castell um, with their older logo and the pencil number. And that's why you get a cheat sheet that has the that has the the color names to go with it because the color names were not printed in the original pencils. You just got a number. Um, also, you can see that um, this is one of the things that you never get to see with the regular polychromos is you never get to see how centered these cores are. But here you really, really get to see how centered these cores are. They do a really good job of getting those cores nice and centered. Um, I've always been impressed by polychromos, but here you see exactly why they're so impressive. Mm -hmm. All right. Finally, we're finally getting to the swatching. Sorry about that. Um, and the lay down is really smooth. It's quite, quite similar to the original pencils. All right, this is the first color we're gonna do. This is the white and I'm trying to press down as hard as I did with the other one. And you can see that this is indeed more opaque. Um, it clearly comes out as more opaque. This is probably the only color that I saw that I was like, oh, they should definitely release a more opaque white. However, you know, this is an oil-based pencil, so they're not, the even though white colors are not gonna be as opaque as something like a luminance, which is a super opaque white. All right, so this is the same color, same color name, and we're about to see if the color is identical. Uh, we're about to get in there and see, and it looks really, really similar. I can't stress enough how smooth the lay down is on these. You can see 
that the colors are in fact quite similar despite some of the the that um, i believe that the name that i matched this with is and don't quote me i believe that this is cadmium um orange um it, it might be light cadmium orange or dark cadmium orange or cadmium orange but this is definitely looks like cadmium orange you can see that it's very similar pick them out in the in the order that they are here this is may green which in fact is the same name all right let's see how this may green goes it looks quite quite similar let's see if i can get down a little bit more pressure there ah, let's see let me try something here there you go So you can see that this may green is quite similar in the dark tones and the light tones. In fact, if I go into the the old may green, you can't even tell her that I used for that. Um, but you can see that it is quite similar. Like that's what I that's what I think. The colors aren't all that different, except for um, the white is the most different of a lot. And you can see in the dark tones you get is light phthalo blue so that's what i tried to match it with and i think that this is one of the more different ones it doesn't quite no no maybe maybe it is more similar than i originally thought i originally thought this was a little bit more had a little bit more green to it but no um no they are really quite similar once i get that i want to say that i matched this to um persian blue is what i think i tried to match it to um, there is a dark indigo color, but it's a very different hue than the one that's used for this. There's a dark indigo, but it's a very different hue than the one that's used for this. So I matched this up with the, with the indigo. Let's see what it looks a little closer up. Yeah, also very similar. Uh, you know, having the names printed on here is actually kind of a big deal. Okay, this color does not this is and i tried i think the reds were the hardest ones to to match up i did try to try to get a color that was similar and this one is definitely a warmer red than um this is a cooler red light cinnabar um cinnabar is definitely not a color that's oh you know what and this looks like more like this one did i match it with the wrong one but this is 38. all right we'll see if i matched it with the wrong one because this one looks closer to the light cinnabar i think i did match it with the with the wrong one no no this one looks closer to the carmine and this cinnabar doesn't look like this looks more like an orange too but it's not. This is the light cinnabar. Which there isn't a color called the light cinnabar. There's a Pompeian red, which I think is what this one is. I think this is closer to Pompeian or Venetian red, I think is what... I can't remember which one of those this is, but this is one of those red. You can see the colors match much better this one probably matches closer to that one but that one is way off name was quite different and uh, nope i tried to match the name more than the hue so this is the <coughs> this is the dark this is the van dyke brown right here but there is um i think if if i went with like a uh i think it's called dark sepia um i think dark sepia would probably or even something like nougat the color nougat um, nougat or dark sep no this is probably closer to nougat so this is probably closer to the nougat name color um, but this is the van dyke brown named color for the polychromos for the modern polychromos and this last one is sepia and there is no sepia there is a dark sepia um, and i think that might have been like the color that i used too all right so you can see let me zoom out a bit so you can see for some colors it's quite a close match um you know for the orange the green these these colors here is quite a close match for other colors the these two reds 
um, as well as the Van Dyke Brown. I think it's closer to the color named Nougat, as I was saying earlier. Um, overall, I think this is a fun, cute little set. It's very adorable. I think it's a, it's a good set to have if you are a huge fan of Polychromos and you want something really special to play with. Um, you want to see how the colors have progressed, some changes in the brand. This is, uh, for me, I found it's very informative to have. Um, but if you aren't like somebody who likes to complete all the colors and have everything, um, this might not be the set for you. This, I don't consider this set, um, complete enough, <clears throat> excuse me, complete enough to be able to use on, on its own for intensive projects. But if you wanted to take this out, like urban sketching or something, or you wanted to just do the small sort of, I don't know if you know, the, the, the front of the color the coloring book where they have just a little logo and a little miniature one you could use it for that um but in terms of you know uh your main pencils no um for for a lot of reasons you can't buy the pencils individually when they're done they're done that sort of thing but um but if you like the polychromos and you want oh let me yeah since i since i moved them over there i can now show you what it looks like over here so this is what it looks like on the other end and this is actually just a piece of paper Let's see if i can lift this paper up and show you i can hold 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 i can I'll just show you see it's just a piece of paper which is probably quite close to the way the originals were styled um were made anyway um overall i like this set i enjoy having it um i don't necessarily recommend it for everyone but if you like me are a huge polychromos fan and you know you like to you know sketch on the go this is a fun set to have just bring your rubber band all right um i said all that before don't forget to stay for a you know what i'm not gonna do a video of the cats this time what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna try to show you some videos or pictures from our cruise to the bahamas and um i'll do that instead all right i'll see you guys next time bye that's where the the bourgeoisie hangs out we're up here with the proletariat <laughs> so you can see how nice they are up there but we found a nice quiet spot for us so it's all good but you should see how crowded some of the other areas are but we managed to find a nice quiet spot it's really nice I haven't had any motion sickness, but Wheezy is having a lot of it, which I think is hilarious.